And right now, Oregon State playing their game. Ten digs, that leads both teams. And right now, currently hanging with Stanford offensively. Lulu's will serve it. Here's Katie Baird looking for the sharp cross-court shot, and she misses it wide out of bounds. She had a lot of room there to work with, but a very tough shot to execute. Tip out of the back, missed another. And it's 15-14, Cardinal just by one as Kip misses on her third attempt from the back row. She's 0 for 3 from the back right now. There's Minor Seti Vicini on the back side set, and the slide is denied by Vernon, and we're tied at 15. So Michael Vernon, five kills and now a block to lead all players in this one. Top serve, Minor. We'll go out to Baird, Katie Baird, right through the seam of the block and down. You have to like the different swings that Katie Baird can have throughout a match. Can go with the power, can go with the roll shots. It's such a deep arsenal of swings she can go to. As we see Cammy Miner back at the service line. Down the line at Vernon, handled perfectly. In the middle, it's Kimley Swan running behind the setter for the kill. Tied at 16. It's a race to nine. Again, you have to win by two, so we'll see if either of these teams can separate here as we enter the latter half of the opening set. Tough serve handled by Ruben. It's going to go out to Baird on the right side this time. Tip back over by Hoonall. Stanford will control it. Vicini gets a swing in the middle. Nice up by White. Transition quickly out to Vernon. And Vernon converts on the left pin for Oregon State to give the Beavers a one-point lead. And that's going to be a timeout taken by Stanford as the Beavers take a one-point lead, 17-16. Here in Naples Pavilion. Getting me and those together for Christmas can be a teensy bit awkward. Just ask Romeo and Juliet. But after saving big with Amazon Black Friday, tragedy was avoided. here tonight. White will serve it out of the timeout. It's tight to the net. Kept alive by the Cardinal. Tipped over by Kip. Vernon has it. Controlled well. It's going to go to Shulsheski out of the back. And her crossbody rip falls for the kill. Set five kills, hitting 500 to go along with two digs. And she'll serve it here. At Vernon, 
She gets it back on the left side. Blocked back by Kip. Vicini in there as well, but Kip got all of it. And Stanford with a nice block there, ties it up at 18. Shank pass by Vernon. She gets it back. Blocked back by Stanford. They'll try the middle with Uno. Missed time there. Kept alive by Stanford. Quickly to Vicini. Nice dig in the backcourt. Balico goes over on the second. Contact and gets it to fall for Oregon State. That was just pinballing around right there, waiting for someone to attack it. And the Beavers take advantage. 19 serving 18. Maliko will serve it. Minor to Ruben on the left side. And Ruben flings that one down the line for the kill. And a touch off the block of Oregon State. Only a freshman, but Ruben just so many options when she rises on the left side. As Elena Ogilvy will serve it. Ogilvy with three assists and two digs already in the opening set. Tough opportunity for the Beavers. It'll go out to Ruben, and it's sent right into the net off the hands of Oregon State and number 10, Ina Bolico. So Stanford regains a one-point advantage. Each team with one timeout remaining. It's 20 to 19 here in the opening set. A very tight opening frame. And if you're Oregon State, you gotta love the position you're in right now. As there's a nice kill on the outside by Boonall. And she was able to take that swing from behind the center there off one foot for the kill. Vernon will check out. Iris Koba in to serve. Kachenko back in as well along the net. Ruben passed perfectly this time. Miner with options goes to Kip. Nice dig there by Balico. Set awkwardly to the outside. Shulsheski has it. Comes back over the net. Shulsheski again is blocked back. Balico will try Udall this time. Nice up there by Miner. Ruben off the net. Nice block touch there by Oregon State. Can Tikachenko finish it? And she can on the left side. Oregon State have never beaten Stanford, looking for its first ever program victory over the Cardinal and trending in a good direction here as we close out the first set. There's Ogilvy with a nice dig. Minor to Kip, hammering down the line for the Cardinal kill. Kip has three kills now on 12 swings. That, that leads all players in terms of the amount of swings she's taken, but three hitting errors leads all players. All three of those were back row attacks where she will find herself after this serve. 21 all, it's a race to four, but you have to win by two. And there is a service error. Surprisingly for two teams who tend to be what we would consider slightly higher error from the service line. That was only the first service error that we have seen in this first set. So both teams, while serving aggressively, have kept it clean from behind the line. And we will see Delara Unal now. And a tough serve at Ogilvy. Out to Ruben. Timing wasn't there. Oregon State should get a good chance here. And they go out to Shulsheski. And there is the Cardinal block showing up. It's Ruben and Smith combining for the stuff. Ruben picks up her first kill, or her first block, I should say, to go along with four kills, and she will serve it. The freshman from Brentwood sends this one into the net, so after not recording a service error through the first 21 points, Stanford has back-to-back -back service errors here late in the 20s. Definitely a spot you'd like to avoid them at. Stanford's come up with two crucial errors here late in this set. Shulsheski serves it. Passed very well. Here's Kip out of the back row. She unloads. And miscommunication there on the side of Oregon State. That ball just fell in the middle of all of the 
Beaver defenders on a chance that could have gotten Oregon State to a set point had they converted that and kept that ball alive. Now sees them tied at 23 with Bellardi back to serve. And this serve will get in. It's going to be a tough swing for Shulsheski. It's sent back. It was touched by Vicini there. And this swing is long and out of bounds. Oregon State looks convinced that there was a touch. This will likely be challenged. And while the fans would like it, it's a be set point, they'll have to wait a little longer as we will go to replay. One of these two schools will have set point coming out of this replay review. And a chance to go up one set here. this opening set. Just looking at the numbers here early, 13 digs for Stanford, 16 digs for Oregon State, and six total blocks between the two schools. Stanford's got four, Oregon State with two, and for a team that might be considered slightly undersized, Oregon State that is, they've managed to play a pretty scrappy game so far defensively, and have generated a lot of really quality block touches. You look at their outside hitters, they're not the tallest. Izzy Shulsheski is only five foot seven. And then you look around at Katarina Tikachenko, she's six two. Michael Vernon, only five eleven. But when you watch these players play in person, the height they achieve is truly spectacular. Really able to alter an opponent's game plan simply by their athleticism. And then in his final visit, the Naples Pavilion, head coach Mark Barnard looking for his first ever win and first ever program win over Stanford. Barnard will be retiring at the end of this season. He spent 18 years with Oregon State in different capacities. He became the head coach back in 2016. He was on the staff when they named the Sweet 16 back in 2014. And looking to possibly pull off an upset here in the opening set. The call will stick with Stanford. And it's 24-23 set point Cardinal. And now the fans will rise to their feet. Malardi will serve it. Leading by one. Just over the tape, over the past, and there's Vicini to end the opening set. The Cardinal take it 25-23 after some mistimed service errors early in the 20. Stanford and Bellardi get a couple in there late to generate some pressure on Oregon State. And Stanford takes it 25-23 and end the opening set on a 3-0 run. The future is threatened Sending coordinates now. by enemies often unseen. When there are battles to win for America's future, there is one constant. Marines. Getting the in-laws together for Christmas can be a teensy bit awkward. Just ask Romeo and Juliet. But after saving big with Amazon Black Friday, tragedy was avoided. Yeah, sisters. It's infinitely more important than passing goal lines. And that promoting diversity and equal opportunity and human excellence is the whole point of winning trophies. This is the Pac-12. It's what makes us the Conference of Champions. 
as student athletes in the Pac-12, we have a powerful platform and the ability to impact and empower those who appreciate us for both our sport and as people. Diversity and inclusion bring a lot to our team, community, and campus. It is time for change, and it starts with us. We're able to use our platform as athletes to showcase all of our diversity and being able to help and support one another. There are many ways Pac-12 fans can help support our stance against racism. Being an ally means standing up for what is right and being committed to ending racism. You can be an ally as a coach, as a teammate, as a fan, by not just supporting the athletes we are on the court, but by supporting the people we are. What I'd like my fans to do is stand with us and stand by us. And that we accept and understand all of our differences, our different ideas, opinions, and experiences. The only way we are going to get through is together. Silence is violence. No more excuses. Change starts with us. You're up at 5 a.m. And your first stop of the day is the weight room. Resilience turns your fatigue into determination. Then you hit the classroom. The video room. The trainer's room. Hut! The more practice, the closer you get to perfection. You find your balance. Hard work. Commitment. Sacrifice. And at the end of the day, it's time to start preparing for tomorrow. Vernon, Vernon came up with six kills, a dig, and a block in that opening set, hitting 364. It was a very back and forth opening set. We had 12 ties, seven lead changes, and a lot of solid defense being played by both schools. Cammy Miner already on her way to another double double. She had 10 opening set assists and five digs for Stanford. And that leads all players by at least two in the match. Miner likely to take home the Pac-12 Setter of the Year award. She's been so solid for this Stanford team all year. Something that Stanford has relied on in so many times. And she's been able to convert big for this Stanford team. She's someone Kevin Hambly can really rely on to run this Cardinal offense. And it's not an easy, easy offense to run. So many solid pin hitters. A really good middle attack. And you got a lot of hungry mouths to feed. And Miner does such a good job of it. And she'll get us going here to start set number two. We switch sides. Vernon is blocked back. Nice up there by Oregon State. Ogilvy digs Vernon. Miner to Baird on the left side. There's Katie Baird ripping into the cross court for the kill. Six kills for Baird on nine swings. She's hitting 556. And for a player who feels like we haven't really seen her best all season, having a really nice night here as we close out this 2022 conference schedule. As there's a nice kill from Oregon State. It was Swan going behind the setter there. And Ryan White will go back to serve. The libero for Oregon State with three digs so far in that first set. Serving that, Ruben. Miner controls it. Kip rising high, but is denied at the net by Uno. Seemed like Kip hung an extra second up in the air there to make her selection of shot choice and spent a little bit too much time deciding as Uno was able to position herself nicely there. Serving tough at Rubin. And there is Kendall Kip converting for the Cardinal. So Kip now in the positive figures. Five kills, 15 swings, four errors. And Katie Baird will serve it. Number 22 in white going down the line at Vernon. Vernon wants it back, going over the top of the block. Ogilvy lays out and keeps it alive to Kip quickly on the right side. And that's what Stanford does, transitioning defense to offense. An incredible up there by Ogilvy, leading to a terminal kill on the right side by Kendall Kip. And you can see the smiles on the Stanford players' faces after that point. Baird. 
just over the tape. It's an ace. That is the first service ace of the game for either team. As we said, it was a pretty clean opening set serving-wise. Only two service errors in that opening set, and both came in the early 20s for Stanford on back-to-back -back miss serves as there, Katie Baird misses one long. It's definitely been a point of emphasis for this Cardinal team. They serve tough. They average right around three service errors per set, but head coach Kevin Hambly is committed to really pushing the boundaries from the service line and continuing his best to get teams out of system and result in more point scoring chances for his Cardinal offense. Here is Vernon, nice dig that time, coming into the center half of the court. Transitioned out to Sholseski, and that one is sprayed long and out of bounds. So an early 5-3 lead as Annabelle Smith will check in. McKenna Vicini rolls off the court. Elena Oglevy will head back to the service line. Oglevy coming up back-to-back. Pac-12 Defensive Player of the Week awards has really come alive here at the end of this season on the defensive end. Here's Miner with option. She goes to Smith. Nice up there by Baleko. Back to Stanford. And it's Rubin on the left side trying to tuck that ball through. Won't happen. Not quite yet. Here's Miner finding Kip on the right pin. And she is sent back by Vernon on the left side. Michael Vernon just doing it all right now for Oregon State. Six kills, two digs, two blocks. And if you're Oregon State head coach Mark Barnard, you're looking for help here from anyone else to go along with, with Vernon tonight. Here's Miner to Kip on the right side. That ball is terminated on the left or on the right side for Kip. Going into the sharp cross court that time. Off the hands of Oregon State and out of bounds. Gachenko, dug by Oglevy, nice one-handed stab. Ruben, well off the net, nice swing to keep it alive. Quick to the middle, Unal, pinballs around, Stanford keeps it alive. Baleko to Unal. And Stanford was in the net, pulling Oregon State. And it was Cami Miner getting called there. So it'll be five serving six. Delara Unal with four kills to go along with three blocks for Oregon State. She's been very productive out of the middle so far for the Beavers. Served deep at Oglevy, handled well. And there is Annabelle Smith ripping off one foot right behind the setter. the night for Annabelle Smith on three swings and Ruben will serve it four kills for the freshman Ruben tough serve overpass minor hammers one down for the kill Cammy absolutely unloading on that overpass and gives Stanford a three point advantage Ruben with an ace. It's nine serving five, and you got to think if you're head coach Mark Barnard, if Ruben puts another one down here, possibly calling a timeout. We'll see how long he lets him play. Tough serve again. It's going to go out to Tikachenko on the left side. Dug by Ruben. Minor to Baird on the left side. Nice dig by White there on the cross court. Baliko to Tikachenko. She has it sent back. Baliko will try Swan this time, and Swan able to put it away in the middle. Kinley Swan, the freshman. Izzy Shulsheski will serve it. Number 15 in gray for the Beavers. 
at the freshman Ruben. Here's Baird on the left side. She is blocked back by Oregon State. And it's Bali Cohen Swan combining for the Beaver block. So after falling behind by four, Beavers get two straight. And a chance to cut it to one here in set two. Shank pass, and it will be an ace serve for the Beavers. And they do just that. Well, Shulshevsky has struggled swinging today. She's one for 14 to go along with four errors. She's hitting in the negative currently. She has contributed with two assists, four digs, and a block, and now a service ace to go along with that. Here's Kip out of the back row. She has it blocked back. And the Beavers playing some really scrappy defense here in the second. Tied at nine. Sholshevsky to serve it. Back-to-back -back long scoring runs by both teams. And here comes a point scoring look for the Beavers. Over on two is Balico. Nice stab saved by Oglevy. Pushed over. Balico with options. Left side to Tikachenko. Nice dig by Oglevy in the cross court. Minor will set it to Katie Baird. Katie Baird with a tough swing. White has it. This one's tight to the net. Sent over by Baird. Balico will reset the point. Tikachenko on the left side finishes for Oregon State. The Beavers who go on a 5-0 run after falling behind by four to take a one-point advantage. And it's happened with Shulshevsky at the service line, continuing to serve tough. Here's Kip out of the back row. Nice dig by Shulshevsky to Swan in the middle. And Stanford just gets it over, but out of bounds it falls. And a point for Oregon State. And head coach Kevin Ambley will call timeout as the Beavers have gone on a 6-0 scoring run and lead it by two here at Naples Pavilion. It's been a much different second set from Oregon State from behind the service line. The future is threatened by enemies often unimaginable. When there are battles to win for America's future, there is one constant. Marine. different dynamic that it didn't have with her athleticism on the outside. And we're seeing that here through the first set and a half. Cholshevsky, while she's not hitting well, really able to stuff the stat sheet and do everything right for this Oregon State team. And if you're Stanford, you got to find some options offensively. Only hitting 203, six errors coming from Kendall Kip right now. Timeout, 11 serving, 9 Izzy Shulshevsky at the service line for the Beavers on a 6-0 run. Great pass out of the timeout. Here's Baird on the left side. Blocked back. Nice save by Kip. Almost falls on the side of Oregon State. And they're able to keep it alive in transition to Tikachenko on the left pin. And the Beavers by 3. It was 9-4. And you look up, now it's 12 serving 9 for Oregon State. Stanford has been susceptible to some longer runs this season. There's Baird, nice dig by Sholshevsky down the line. Out to Tikachenko, who goes straight off the block and out of bounds for the kill for the Beavers. And Stanford just needs to get a side out here. A little first ball side out if possible. Starting to bleed in points now on an 8-0 run. Sholshevsky serving, taken by Rubin. Minor, it's a Baird well off the net on the left side. Oregon State's going to get another look. Dug by Oglevy. Kip, 
Nice dig by the Beavers in the backcourt there. Here's Tikachenko one more time. Dug by Baird right tight to the net. And it's sent down by Inabaliko and Oregon State. And the Beavers lead it 14 to 9. This is a scoring run that's almost reached 10. And Stanford will call its second and final timeout amidst a 9-0 scoring run for Oregon State. Find your beat, your moment of calm. Find your potential, then own it. Support your immune system with a potent blend of nutrients and emerge your best every day with Emergency. Getting the in-laws together for Christmas can be a teensy bit awkward. Just ask Romeo and Juliet. But after saving big with Amazon Black Friday, tragedy was avoided. Yeah, sisters. They're in that second set. And they're down by five right now. As the players will retake the court. said looking for their first ever win against Stanford. The Cardinal are 72 and 0 all time against Oregon State. The Beavers have never beaten Stanford. The day before Thanksgiving seems like no better time for that first win if they can. And there is Cammy Miner coming quickly out of the break to pick up the point for Stanford. So Bellardi in as well as Bevan for Stanford. So the Cardinal going with a little bit of a different look here to get some more defensive players in the backcourt. Tough swing, nice dig by her by Bellardi. Going out to Katie Baird. And there is a nice kill for Katie Baird, kind of just chopping one down the line. It's Vicini, Baird, and Miner along the net for Stanford with Bellardi, Rubin, and Bevan in the backcourt. And Bellardi serving. Tough serve. Comes over to Stanford. Cardinal will control it. Bump set, left side. There's Baird. And there is Baird to finish that one off. Katie Baird with her eighth kill now, starting to heat up. Definitely one of Stanford's most experienced Units it can put out along the net. Baird and Vicini, both members of that 2019 national championship team, didn't get a lot of playing time during that season, but two players that were a part of that team, as well as Kendall Kipp, who checks back in now, and players that at least know what it takes to win this time of the year. This is the part of the season where you want to start peaking, you want to start playing your best volleyball, Still seems like we haven't yet seen the peak for this Stanford team, but every game they seem to be trending in the right direction at the right time. Here's Baird going cross court, but missed it wide and out of bounds. Four-point lead for Oregon State. The Beavers only have one true road win this season. That came back on September 17th against Tulane. Looking for another road win here, closing out Pac-12 play. Sholshevsky from the backcourt is sent back by Vicini and Katie Baird. So the sophomore from Redondo Beach will serve it. Preseason All-Pac-12 player. Vernon is roofed on the outside. Kip and Vicini combined for the Cardinal stuff block. Fourteen serving, sixteen. And Stanford claws back into this second set after having taken the first 25-23. Swan off the slide. 
Dug right on target by Oglevy. Miner with option sets the middle. Vicini is dug. Comes back to Swan. And that's a nice conversion there by the Oregon State middle Swan. She's got six kills now on nine swings. To go along with three blocks, she's been very efficient tonight. And we'll check out giving way to Delara Unal, who is four for nine right now. As White will serve it just over the tape at Rubin. Minor to Baird on the right side, ripping cross body, cross court for the kill. Vernon, Bolico, and Uno along the net here for Oregon State. It's Vernon on the left side, and that ball is sprayed long and out of bounds. A very tough swing for Michael Vernon there on the left the left pin. That one just kind of pulled her off the net a, a bit too much. Not a lot of room to work with. So Baird serving down by one. Oregon State went on a 9-0 run in this set, and Stanford only finds itself down by a point. Uno kept alive by Oglevy. Bump set left side. Rubin gets the kill, chipping off the block of Oregon State. And we're tied at 17. And we'll see if Stanford can put its foot on the gas pedal here on a 3-0 run from Baird at the service line. Oh, wait a minute. No, 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 no. Tough serve. Balico well off the net. We'll set Vernon. Sharp cross court. Dug by Oglevy. Miner tracks it down out to Rubin. Blocked back. Covered by Stanford. Rubin one more time. This time... Missed it wide and out of bounds. Trying to thread the needle between the beaver block. She did, but no touch. And it was sent long and out of bounds. It was only Ruben's second hitting error on 15 swings tonight. There's Balico to serve it. Passed perfectly by Baird to the middle. It goes for Vicini. Cholszewski here on the right side. Dug by Baird on the cross court. Miner finds Ruben on the left hand. Tip it over the top. And it falls to the floor on the side of Oregon State. Vicini off. Annabelle Smith in along the net for Stanford. And Elena Oglevy will serve it. We'll see if she goes down the line here at Vernon. She does. Pass 12, Balico. Has to track it down. Out to Vernon. Running swing is successful. She went a long way to receive that serve and to make that swing on the left side. She'll check out here now. What a very, very productive rotation along the net there for Michael Vernon. As Iris Koba's in the game to serve it. Took a Chanko in along the net as well. The only option is Kip on the right side. It doesn't matter. Kendall Kip converts, tying it at 19. Kip just able to go right over the top of the block in front of her with ease. Good serve, handled well. Balico to Sholszewski on the right side. And Sholszewski tools the block for the Beaver kill. Ripping right off the outside hand of Elia Rubin. And Delara Unal will go back to serve as Kinley Swan rotates in along the net for Oregon State. Unal will serve it. Handled by Oglevy. Left side to Rubin. She is blocked, covered by Baird. It's sent over. It's going to go to the left side for Shulsheski. Looking for a touch. None detected, but she heads right over to Mark Barnard. That's Shulsheski. And will we get a challenge here from Barnard? If not, it's 20 all. If it's successful, it's a Beaver lead by two. And Mark Barnard will challenge this point. And I think that's a good challenge. Oregon State still has both of its timeouts remaining and is going to ask to take a look at this one in possibly an extremely pivotal point of this second set. The Beavers are going to look to go up by two points.
a tight first two sets here from Maples Pavilion. Opening set went 25-23 Stanford. Cardinal pulled away late after two critical service errors late in that opening frame. And it has been a tightly contested second set. That saw Stanford jump out to a 9-5 lead early, which was then answered by a 9-0 scoring run from Izzy Shulchewski at the service line. And Oregon State went up big for a while. Stanford then called both of its timeouts, regrouped, made a couple of smaller runs itself. And this is where we stand in review, tied at 20. If this one is overturned back to Oregon State, it would be a lead by two. The call is a touch. And it will be a point for Oregon State. Shulchewski seemed pretty confident when she landed back on the court that there was a touch. And so we do go from 20 all to 21-19, and it's a two-point advantage for Oregon State. The libero white off the court in this rotation as Unal will serve it. Passed by Baird. Going to Kip out of the backcourt and Kate Kendall Kip able to use the hands of the Beaver block there to her advantage for the point. It's really an underrated part of Kendall's game. Just her ability to stay in the air that long to really pick the shot she wants. Ruben serving down by one. Tough serve, Baliko. We'll go to the middle for Swan. Dug by Kip. Miner over on two, but it's out of bounds. And now Kevin Hamlin is going to grab the challenge card. And so with no timeouts left, Hambly can use this challenge almost like a timeout to talk with his team. And we're going to have this one go to review. So as it stands, 22-20, Miner missed that one out of bounds. At least that's what, what, that's what we're rolling with right now, as this one will now go to review. So two replays here in the 20s. Uh, the difference between a tied match and a two-point advantage for the visitors, Oregon State. So again, as we've said a few times, only 7-21 and 21 on the season, 2-16 and 16 in conference play, and 1-10 and 10 away from Gill Coliseum. But this Oregon State team plays much tougher than its record would show, and you're seeing that here tonight. It has been a very solid middle attack for Oregon State so far in this one. Kinley Swan and Delara Unal have combined to go 10 for 20, hitting 500 with no errors. And both teams have been relatively high-ish error, error in this game tonight. Stanford with 13 hitting errors. Oregon State with 12. 12 combined team blocks of the 25 hitting errors. So just some mistakes being made by both teams. We saw three hitting errors in a row, actually, from Kendall Kipp at one point in this match from behind the three-meter line. And this review will take a little bit longer. This is one that the fans definitely want to have right, the teams want to have right, and potentially a set-altering call coming in here from the refs. And if nothing else, it has halted the momentum of Oregon State here in this set. Almost amazing that you can face a 9-0 service run in a set and still have a chance at it. And that's what Stanford has here. Currently down by two. And a chance that this may be reversed as it's taken a while to confirm.
Find your beat. Your moment of calm. Find your potential. Then own it. Support your immune system with a potent blend of nutrients. And emerge your best every day with emergency. On the court, which was out of bounds by Miner, will stand, giving Oregon State its two-point advantage. It'll be 22 serving 20. And Sholshevsky will go back to the service line. The player responsible for that 9-0 service run earlier in this set. Trying to put the pressure on Stanford to guarantee at least four sets here tonight. Sholshevsky serving at Rubin. Passed perfectly. Going to Kip out of the back row. She is blocked by Swan. Kinley Swan goes up and blocks Kip at the top. Three serving 20. Sholshevsky from behind the line. At Rubin. Minor to Katie Baird on the left side. Dug back over the net. Kip controls it. Going back to Katie Baird one more time. This time Katie successful on the left side. Opening set went 25-23. This one's 23-21. A back and forth affair we have had as Kelly Bellardi will check in and go to the service line here for Stanford. Tough serve and ace for Bellardi. Just what the doctor ordered. A timely ace from Bellardi to pull within one. Another tough serve, and it's back-to-back -back aces to tie it at 23. Timeout, Oregon State on Thanksgiving Eve. Kevin Hambly, very thankful for the service job he's gotten tonight from Kelly Bellardi. second set 23 all Bellardi to serve going right at Tikachenko she'll get it back on the left side and she finds the cross court for the kill and that gives Oregon State set point here in the second as Michael Vernon will check on for the Beavers And Emma Villaluz will go back to serve it. Number one in gray for the Beavers. Ogilvy, Miner, Katie Baird on the outside, able to finish for the Cardinal kill. There was no doubt when that ball was passed where it was going. And a very quick first ball side out. And we will play on here at 24 all. Miner to serve it. Going down the line. White handles it. Going out to Vernon. Vernon sprays this one wide and out of bounds. And that will bring the fans to their feet here in Naples. Set point, Stanford. 25-24. Cardinal took the opening set, 25-23. Miner to serve it for the set. 
Pass to Obalico with option. She goes to Swan off the slide, and she's able to tuck that one inside the hands of Vicini for the point. 25 all we play on, and Ryan White, the libero, number 12 in White, will head back to serve for the Beavers. White with seven digs in this game. Served just over the top of the tape. Minor to Baird. This time on the right side. This time successful on the sharp angled swing from Katie Baird. So it'll be set point number two. The fans back to their feet once more. You've got Ruben, Vicini, and Kip along the front with Baird serving. Vernon up there as well. You got to think she's going to get a swing here for Oregon State. Should it be passed well? It's going out to her no matter what this time. And that time, Vernon threw the Stanford block and down. A really smart shot that time to just fling it into the Stanford block and take her chances. Tied at 26, and Ina Balico will go back to serve. 24 assists, five digs, and four blocks, and near ace there from Balico. Nice dig, kept alive Ruben. Ruben looking for a touch, didn't get it. And it's missed out of bounds. And it'll now be set point for Oregon State. A back and forth second set. And the Beavers looking to tie this at one set apiece. Bollico to serve it at Baird. It's an overpass and it's finished off by Vernon. And we're tied at one set apiece. Michael Vernon with kill number nine. Ties this one up at one set apiece. We are dead equal in points. 25-23 opening set, 28-26. Goes the second set to Oregon State. We're going at least four here this evening. And we'll be back in just a few. You're listening to Pac-12 Insider. Oh, surprised to see you here. How's your head? All good, man. <laughs> Advil targets pain at the source. When pain comes for you, come back fast with Advil Liquid Tells. This thing. 
praise to become champions. But in the Pac-12, we understand most victories are celebrated in silence. A simple pat on the back without the rain of confetti, a high five with a teammate, not screaming fans, in the classroom, at the library, another week of exams. This is the Pac-12, where leadership in academics and athletics launches success in life. It's what makes us the Conference of Champions. Pac-12 title here tonight. We're going into their game against Cal. You really maybe expect to see Stanford a little bit sharper offensively this deep into the season against an Oregon State team that has struggled at times on the defensive end. But give the Beavers a lot of credit for holding their own. And right now, Oregon State has one more total team block than the Cardinals. So, when looking at this one from a statistics standpoint, Stanford's done a lot of things well on its side of the net. But Oregon State right now just playing a little bit cleaner. Each team with 31 digs apiece. So, defensively, both teams have made an impact with their scrappy play on the defensive side. But... We'll see who's able to pull away here in set three. Stanford has led early in both of the first two sets before Oregon State has gone on runs. Izzy Shulsheski went on a nine-point serving run in that second set. She's actually hitting negative 111 right now. She's got more errors than kills. On 18 swings, she adds three kills and five errors. Tied at one set apiece. And it will be Emma Villaluz to get us going here in set number three. Serving at the libero, Oglavi. Going out to the left side, and there is Katie Baird continuing her strong night. That's kill number 13 for Baird. Six digs and a block as well. If you're Cammie Miner, you might start to look number 22's way a little bit more here in this third set, considering the hitting errors tonight from Kip. Miner will serve it. Tough serve, an ace down the line. It's been a very interesting match to see how both head coaches have attacked in the serve-receive phase of this game. With Barnard targeting Elia Rubin and Kevin Hambly and the Cardinal targeting Vernon. They're going to go back at her again. Stepping in front was White. Vernon, left side. High over the Stanford block, dug by Ogilvy, right on target. Here's Baird in transition, firing away on the left pin and finishing. And just as we have had in the first couple of sets, an early Stanford lead. It's Kip Vicini and Baird along the net. A lot of experience and size at the net for Stanford. That's another ace. Two aces in this run for Cami. And the star sophomore setter has her team up by four here in the third. Ogilvy going down the line at Vernon. It's an overpass. And there is Kendall Kip to put it away. Seems like Kip could have taken a bigger swing at that one and said decided to go with the off speed in Oregon State. Caught a bit of sleep there, not thinking it was going to come down that softly. Five serving zero. Vernon pulled forward and serve receive. White will take more court here. And it's a service error to get the Beavers on the board here in the third. So how does Stanford respond after that second set loss? Well, they come out on a 5-1 run from Cammie Miner at the service line. And they're feeding Katie Baird the ball on the left side right now. Miner will go to Vicini in the middle. Blocked back, covered by Ogilvy. This one's going to go to Rubin out of the backcourt. Dug by Shulshevsky. Transition quickly out to Vernon. She's blocked back, covers her own swing, gets it back again. This time hitting around the Cardinal block and dug by Ogilvy. Nice positioning there from the libero. Shulshevsky with a dig the other way. Going right out to Vernon. Miner with a nice up. Coming to Kit. And back over the net. We play on. Valico to Unal. Unal on the slide with the kill for Oregon State as she finishes off the long rally. The libero Ryan White will serve it. Seven digs on the night for White. 
This one just over the tape. Miner has all of the options available. She picks out Katie Baird on the right side. And Katie Baird continuing her night. This is kill number 15 for Baird, hitting 444 now. Such a versatile outside hitter. A second team All-American last year was Katie Baird. And as we said, hasn't had quite the season she had wanted from a hitting percentage numbers yeah. point of view, but she has really contributed late in the season to the Stanford team and has really picked up her game offensively the last couple of weeks. So good to see her continuing to roll here just a week before we start postseason play. Seven serving two. Baird at the service line, going down the line this time. Here's Vernon on the left end. She is dug nicely by Oglevy. Headed out to Ruben on the left end. Nice dig by Oregon State, going out to Vernon. One more time, dug by Oglevy in the cross court. And there is Ruben to tool the block of Oregon State for the point. Gotta love the way this freshman goes up with authority on the left side. Mark Barnard seen enough here in this third set. He'll call his first timeout of two at the 8-2 juncture of this third set. It's been all Stanford to start this third, as it had been Stanford in sets one and two. But as we've seen with Oregon State, the ability to really launch a comeback in each of these sets has been the difference for them in this match to this point. possibly get back on another run that they've gone on tonight. So Katie Baird back at the service line, eight serving two. Katie Baird, Cami Miner, Elena Oglevy in the backcourt. McKenna Vicini, Elia Rubin, and Kendall Kipp in the front court right now for Stanford. Maliko, Unal, and Vernon, the front court players for Oregon State. A junk set to the backside for Shulsheski, blocked back by Stanford, coming back outside left to Vernon. Good block touch by Stanford. Oregon State will reset the point, and there is Vernon converting on the left side, going right around the Stanford block of Kip and Vicini. At only 5'11", Vernon considered undersized, but she flies up at the net and able to go around the Stanford block that time. Here's Ruben, dug by Balico. White is going to set it to the right side for Shulsheski, looking for a touch and none detected. And you don't see Shulsheski going to Barnard this time, thinking that she had gotten a touch that time. She was successful, however, on that challenge late in that second set that ended up proving to be a difference maker. Here is Elena Oglevy. Tough serve. It's an ace. Down the line in front of Villa Luz. And again, now you're going to see Oregon State switch its serve receive. They've now pulled Vernon completely, completely to the opposite side of the court, hiding Balico as well. This is a lot of court for two players to cover here. And it's an ace for Oglevy. Not hard to see what Stanford's done here with Vernon getting pulled out of serve receive in that area. Oglevy going right in between Villa Luz and White in the back court. And she split the defenders perfectly on that last serve. 11 serving three. Down the line at Vernon. To the middle, Unal block back. Nice up there by Oregon State. It actually comes over the net now. And it'll be sent down to the right side, and Kendall Kip cleans it up and finishes the point. An awkward point 
Green to a ball high above the net on the right pin, and Kendall Kipp knows what to do with that. That time going with the heat and putting that ball away. Oglevy serving. Vernon receives it. Left side, Sholshevsky blocked back by Kipp with one hand. Sholshevsky a second time around has it dug by Oglevy in the deep corner. And missed time there on the outside. That ball kind of set between Annabelle Smith and Elia Rubin. And neither Stanford player or attacker, I should say, really able to get their mitts on that one. Instead, it falls on Sanford's side and gives Oregon State its fourth point of this third set. And Iris Koba will come on to serve with two digs and an assist already tonight. Koba pulls Miner well off the net, going to Kip on the right side, down the line. White has it. Right side for Shulshevsky, dug in the cross court. Stanford will transition quickly out to Rubin. Nice dig by Balico, but it sails over the net for the Stanford point. And Rubin now with eight kills. As Stanford's top pin hitters look to be all closing in on double figures tonight. Baird has 15 kills. Kip with 11. And Rubin up to eight. And Kip will serve it. Four blocks, 11 kills for the senior Kip. Top serve just over the tape. Unal in the middle. Misses that one out of bounds and long. And it is 14 to 4. So if you're wondering how Stanford felt after dropping that set, 28-26, the Cardinal have come out and made quick work of Oregon State here in this third set, leading 14-4. Almost another ace overpass. Miner hammers it down, and it's 15-4, Stanford. Timeout taken by Oregon State. And the service pressure from Stanford is starting to add up. Not just the aces. Stanford's got five of those. But the pressure from the service line getting Oregon State out of system. The Beavers really starting to look a little lost here in this third set offensively. Have really not had many quality touches or swings this set. This thing's about to get real. Kills have come from McKenna Vicini. Annabelle Smith is one for three right now. And when you're not getting the middles involved, there's a lot of places to look. You know, is it your passing? Is it just the offense you're trying to run? And right now, I think it's a combination of both. Stanford has not had the greatest sets to work with. Miner hasn't had a ton of opportunities to get the middles going. But at the same time, with how dominant these pins have been, why would you look away from them when they're playing this well? Out of the timeout, Tukachenko will take a swing on the left side, dug by Baird. Out to Elio Rubin on the left side, who rips one down for the Cardinal kill. 16 serving four. It has been all Cardinal here in this third set. We know we're going four. 25-23 was the first. 28-26 Oregon State was how the second set went. Shank pass, ace serve, Kendall Kip. 17 serving four. And Stanford feeling gravy here tonight. Here is the serve from Kip. Great pass there from White. Balico backs at right side. Joshesky hammers one through on the right side for Oregon State. That was only the fourth kill of the night for Sholshevsky. We've called her name a lot. That's because she's taken 25 swings now. Still hitting in the negative. Four kills, 25 swings, six errors. Unal will go back to serve. Kinley Swan back along the net. Number 17 in gray for Oregon State. Ruben tosses one over the top. Doug Koba to Tikachenko on the left side. Bear tracks it down. Miner is going to go to Kip out of the back row. Kip, that ball is down, not down from the ref, we're playing on. Minor to Smith, and Annabelle Smith finishes that one off for the Cardinal point. Like earlier in that rally, it might have been 
signaled by the ref that that ball was down. They played on and Stanford won it either way. So 18 serving, five in the freshman, Ruben at the service line. Serving it deep at Tikachenko. Oregon State out of system. Here's Tikachenko on the left side. Hammering into the cross court. She makes up for the rough first contact by ripping that ball on the sharp cross court angle for the point. Six serving 18, Shulsheski at the line as the Beavers look to find some momentum here towards the end of this set. She went on a 9-0 service run in that second set, so Oregon State definitely not out of it here, but are going to have to make a run here soon. Shulsheski has it dug. Nice play defensively by Stanford. Rubin gets it over. Baliko to Swan on the slide. Miner's one-handed save attempt falls just short, and it's a point for the Beavers. Seven serving 18, Shulsheski the servant. Right over the tape at Rubin, handled well. Miner to Baird on the left side, blocked back, covered by Oglevy. Stanford will try the other side this time, it's Kip. And that one missed just out of bounds from Kendall. And if you're Stanford, you played so well early in this set, you don't want to give Oregon State too much momentum going into a fourth set here. I think they try to keep their foot down and continue to press, and Oregon State not helping themselves out there with that service error. In fact, that is only the first service error of the game for Oregon State. One ace, one error. They've been very efficient from behind the service line. It's a big reason those first couple of sets were so close. Stanford has nine. They've got five service errors with his nine aces tonight. Here's Swan off the slide, dug by Bellardi right on target. And a nice play from Stanford there. I think that was actually Anna Pringle who's in the game with Bellardi in the back row. It's Bellardi to serve, and it's Anna Pringle in the back court. Bellardi had those two big aces late in set number two. Here's Tikachenko on the left side, and it falls right in front of the diving Anna Pringle. So Annabelle Smith coming back in. But we'll sub out immediately for Ogilvy in this rotation. It's Ogilvy, Kip, Rubin with Baird, Miner, and Vicini. Villaluz, White, Vernon, Swan, and Balico for Oregon State to go with Shulsheski right now. Here's Baird on the left side, and that one floated to the court, going right over the top of the Beaver block. Cammy Miner to serve it. Miner, three kills, 34 assists, two aces, seven digs. With a standout sophomore setter going down the line at Vernon. Oregon State will have to bump set her on the left side well off the net. Nice dig by Baird. It's going to go to the right side. Kip hammers one through for the floor for the Stanford point. Well, she has been high error tonight with eight hitting errors. Going to Kendall Kip is typically one of your best options, if not your best. And she's terminal there on the outside. Tough serve down the line at White. Overpass. And the joust that's won at the net by Balico. Not very often you see the middle win that one, or I should say the setter on the other side win it against that middle where she had such a good look at it in Vicini. So White will serve down the line at Katie Baird. Baird wants it back, just gets it over the tape. Nothing to do with it. Comes around to Stanford. Not going to get a great swing here. Oregon State should get a chance here in transition. Quickly out to Vernon. Sharp cross-court angle. Dug by Ogilvy. Back over the net. Tight to the net. And it will fall on the side of Stanford as Balico was there at the top of the net on the right side to put that one away for Oregon State. 
Buford may have jumped out to an early lead in this one, but Oregon State has played well the last 10 points of this third set. Ogilvy takes it overhand at the last second to the middle, tipped over, dug back over the net by Shulsheski, and it falls out of bounds, point to Vicini in the middle for the Cardinal. 23-11, Stanford looking to wrap up this third set and go on to the fourth. Up two sets to one. Baird look to serve. She leads all players with 16 kills tonight. Going down the line here at Villa Luz. Passed well. Out to Vernon. Timing wasn't there. Awkwardly swung at it. Dug by Stanford. Coming out to Kip on the right side. Kip tools the block and gives Stanford set point here in the third. Fans rise to their feet as they did in the first set and twice in the second before Oregon State closed out that second set, 28-26. Stanford looking to go up two sets to one here at home. Baird will serve it. Villaluz will pass it. Right side to Uno. Dug by Oglevy. Miner with all the options goes to Vicini. And Vicini tucks it down for the Stanford kill. And the Cardinal go up two sets to one. Playing a very, very smart brand of volleyball. Stanford makes quick work of Oregon State. 25-11 here in the third. We will head to set number four. Stanford on tops two sets to one. Winning the opening 25-23. Losing the second set to Oregon State 28-26. And then taking the third 25-11. We'll rejoin you in just a minute. You're listening to Pac-12 Insider. Taking that second set, 28-26, and a quick third. You got to think Mark Barnard's going to try and spin the dial and get the Beavers out to a faster start here in this fourth set, and hopefully will hold, force a fifth and decisive final set. share of the Pac-12 title as it's currently held is Stanford's 20th Pac-12 title and 23rd overall conference title. And they go along with how well this program has been, nine national championships, but you talk about the dominance here in conference. 36 out of the 37 years Stanford in the Pac has finished top four overall. So this is a team that has lived at the top for a long time and after having a few down seasons, Stanford right back in the national picture, ranked number six in the country and the RPI is very strong and 
I think if you're Kevin Hamlin and this Stanford Cardinal team, you're thinking if you went out this weekend, you have a very good chance at possibly snagging one of those top four seeds to host the regionals. Before that happens, the fourth set will be played. And it is Cammie Miner to get us going here. Going right down the line at white. Here's Swan, dug by Ogilvy. What a nice one-handed save from the libero there. Tight to the net. Comes back to Oregon State. Balico will reset the point. Out to Vernon, going on the sharp angle. And that's just a tough point to defend if you're Stanford. Elena Ogilvy laid all out for that one and couldn't quite come up with it, but a very nice effort from her. And big smiles all the way around on the Stanford team. It'll be Ryan White to serve. Nine digs, one away from... 10 in the match for the libero white this one just over the tape was served by the setter minor going out to kip off the block and down kendall kip converts and after starting this match a little slower kendall kip starting to find her groove she had seven hitting errors through two sets and only one there in that third as katie baird will serve it she went on multiple long runs in this game. And a tough serve to get Oregon State out of system. Vernon well off the net has it dug by Oglevy. And then Kip is rejected on the right side by Vernon. High flyer meeting high flyer at the top. An advantage Vernon there on the outside that time. It will be Ina Balico to serve it. Going down the line at Rubin. Pass tight to the net. Kip on the right side sends it straight down with authority. Miner really didn't have any options except for Kip there. And Kip able to put it away there on the right side. Annabelle Smith, Elia Rubin, and Kendall Kip along the net for Stanford. Oglevy will serve it. Baird joins her and Miner in the backcourt. To the middle for Unal, and Unal with the touch out of the middle gets the kill. So while Stanford started that third set off 5-0, you can tell this one feels a lot more like the first two with Oregon State battling early. Will be Iris Koba in to serve. With three digs on the night, Koba sends it at Rubin. Passed well. Out to Rubin. Down the line for the kill. And that is one thing that... Elia Rubin has, and that is a major height advantage there on the outside. The 6-1 Rubin able to go right over the top of the 5-7 Izzy Sholsheski. Kip will serve it. Oliko to the right side. Here is Sholsheski, and Stanford's in the net. Stanford is cited out at 54.5%. Today, Oregon State at 45.6. Well, teams have struggled here on that first ball side out to really put it away on that opening contact. And that's a service error long. Only the second error from behind the service line for Oregon State. They have been very clean from behind the service line in today's game. Stanford has nine aces to only five errors. They've been great from behind the line, though. Balico goes out to Swan on the slide. One foot of the attack is successful from Kinley Swan. And she's one away from double digits. And you start looking around at all the hitting percentages outside of the two outsides, Michael and Shulsheski. And it's been a very clean night for the Oregon State hitters. Mistake there, leaving Baird one-on-one, -on -one, but it's dug by White. Goes around to Tikachenko. She's blocked. We'll get it over the net. Kip keeps it alive. Baird going with a soft touch shot. Dug by Shulsheski. Transitioned out to Tikachenko. Ogilvy keeps it up. Rubin. And Miner will send over a free ball opportunity. Can Oregon State convert? Tikachenko blocked back, covered. The long rally continues. Tikachenko one more time. Not yet. Here's Kip. Miner to Baird on the left side. And Katie tucks it down inside the Beaver block for the kill. A long rally 
with a lot of heavy swings, and it goes Stanford's way on a softer shot that gets tucked down through the Oregon State block. And we're going to see Anna Pringle come onto the backcourt here, and Millardi goes back to serve. Good serve. Maliko has to Kachenko on the left side. What a nice dig by Pringle. Back over the net, controlled by Oregon State. And Maliko goes one-on-one -on -one with Vicini. It comes back to Stanford. Going out to Katie on Baird on the left side. And there is Katie Baird to finish off the rally yet again. That's now 18 kills for Katie Baird. Tough serve from Bellardi. Balico will go to Swan on the slide. Swan is rejected. Vicini and Baird team up for the Cardinals stuff block. A 3-0 run for Stanford with Bellardi at the service line. Balico has option. She goes to the left side. Tikachenko with the first ball side out there on the outside. It'll be six serving seven. And Emma Villaluz will go back to serve for Oregon State. Villaluz, the 5'5 sophomore from Washington, serving at Rubin. Handled well. Miner will go to Baird on the left side. Block back, covered by the setter, Miner. Go right back to Katie. This time dug by Ville losing in the back court. Going quickly out to Vernon. Vernon did not get that one over the net. Point Stanford. Vernon there just trying to do a bit too much with that pass. And instead of getting it over and playing some defense, which Oregon State has done well today, shit that ball a little too tight into the net and cut it just below the tape. Point Stanford. How about that? Vernon, dug by Oglavy. Miner tracks it down, finds Kip on the right side, tipping over the top, dug by the Beavers. We'll try Vernon once more on the left end. Ruben has it up. Miner there, long bump set cross court to Baird. Katie Baird finishes it off. A little defense to offense there from the star center and outside hitter. How about that connection? And Mark Barnard will call a timeout. Stanford leading it 9-6 here in the fourth set. As Stanford looks for its 23rd outright conference title. Find your beat. Your moment of calm. Find your potential. Then own it. Support your immune system with a potent blend of nutrients. And emerge your best every day with emergency. Getting the in-laws together for Christmas can be a teensy bit awkward. Just ask Romeo and Juliet, but after saving big with Amazon Black Friday, tragedy was avoided. Yeah, sisters. Cardinal have really been pin dominant today. But when Katie Baird's swinging it like she is today, there's really no reason to go away from what's working. Teams have retaken the court. It'll be nine serving six out of the break with Cammie Miner at the service line. For Oregon State, Bali Co. The setter along the front court right now with Swan and Vernon. In the backcourt, it's Villa Luz, Shulchewski, and White. Stanford has been going... Straight down the line, 5-5, five to five, right at Vernon. Who's trying to get out of serve, receive, and does. We're going to go to the backcourt, Shulsheski. Nice rip, better up by Ruben. There to running swing, finds the court. An awkward shot there from Katie Baird, but when it's your night, it's your night. And Katie Baird putting that one away. Stanford transition offense here in these last couple of sets has been sensational. Down the line serve, shanked by Vernon, going to Shulsheski out of the backcourt, dug by Miner. 
Ogilvy to Kip on the right side, and Kip cannot get that one through. Oregon State players knew it right away. And the point to the Beavers. So it'll be seven serving ten. And Ryan White at the service line into double figures with ten digs now. Deep serve at Rubin, passed well to the middle of the Cheney, dug by Sholshevsky right over the net. Kip will restart the point for Stanford. She gets it back. And a heavy swing on the left side will result in the Stanford point. As you can see that net moving. Udall on the front court now for Oregon State. She's been good off of one foot behind the setter tonight on good passes. This one is not as quality, and Vernon sprays that one wide and out of bounds here to make it 12-7 Stanford, and as Stanford did in that third set, the Cardinal beginning to pull away. 12 serving seven, and the person that Kevin Ambley wants at the service line right now is Katie Baird. Tough serve. Volley coat tight to Vernon on the left side, and Vernon just ripping through the Stanford block. Shredding the Cardinal defenders with that swing. Vernon up to a 12 kills now, but 41 attempts. That's just one behind Kip. Kip up to 16 kills in this one. She'll get another chance here on the right side. Dug back over, Kip one more time, can't finish. It's going to go out to Vernon. And a free ball point scoring opportunity for Stanford. Can they convert? Ruben into the cross court and down. Elio Ruben bringing the fire here in the fourth set. Getting a perfect look on the left side. Udall was late to close. And Ruben one on one. Look at her chops. 13 serving eight. Down the line at Vernon. Balico back to Vernon. Dug by Baird. It goes off of the Jumbotron and back over. And that will be a point for Oregon State. We used to joke back in the day that that was the bane of Morgan Hentz's existence was the low scoreboard here inside Maples Pavilion. If it goes off the scoreboard on your own side off the Jumbotron, you can continue to play it. However, if it goes off and over the net, the point to the other team. Minor to Kip on the right side. Kip looking for the cross court and got it. And Oregon State a little beside themselves there thinking that ball was maybe missed out of bounds. And Mark Barnard's going to challenge this one. And we'll see on replay if this one was in or out. Find your beat. Your moment of calm. Find your potential. Then own it. Support your immune system with a potent blend of nutrients and emerge your best every day with emergency. And remember, the call on the floor was that it was in, meaning Point Stanford should the call stand. We'll see if it gets confirmed here. Both teams using this challenge period to chat with their teams, Barnard and Hambly up, respectively, for their teams. In a fun environment here in Maples Pavilion, Stanford, 22-4 overall on the season, the number six team in the country. They're 17-1 in Pac-12 play on a 16-game winning streak. Looking to make it 17 and then possibly 18 this Friday night at 6 o'clock against Cal. This is the only meeting on the season between Stanford and Oregon State. It was Stanford who went up to Eugene earlier this year for the one-game match, and that is the lone conference loss for Stanford this season. And it was a sweep by Oregon. Since then, Stanford's won 16 straight. Call stands, point Stanford. 
And when you start looking at the Cardinals' schedule and the teams in front of them in the rankings, Texas and Louisville, which were both home losses for Stanford, are both sitting in front of the Cardinal in the rankings right now. So while Stanford does have four losses to four quality opponents, Oregon, Penn State, Texas, and Louisville, and there's an ace serve out of the break from Kendall Kipp. So after her swing was questioned as possibly going as going wide, Kip reminds us all that the ball doesn't lie and picks up an ace. And it's 15 serving nine. And just like that, one ace, one error, and she gives it right back. So it will be 10 serving 15. Delara Unal at the service line. She's six for 16 with four stuffs here. Oregon State has two more team blocks than Stanford right now. Nine to seven. Here is Unal serving it, handled perfectly by the libero Oglavi. And there is Cammy Miner going over wisely on the second contact and finding the soft spot in the Beaver defense. So it's Baird, Smith, and Miner along the net for Stanford. Oglavi, Kip, and Rubin in the backcourt. A serve from Rubin at Tukachenko who's in the game. She wants it back, gets it on the left side, dug by Rubin. Popped high in the air. Rubin bumps it left side. Katie Baird ripping into the cross court and ripping relentlessly tonight. That's kill number 21 now for Katie. 17 serving 10. As the Cardinal close in on a four set victory here at home. It's Rubin serving. Shank pass. It's going to Tikachenko again. Dug by Oglavi. She's been so active these last couple of weeks as there's Katie Baird. Just to go back to that thought on Elena Oglavi. She has been everywhere for Stanford tonight. She's up to 28 digs. And we're going to have to grab her numbers here. She's got back-to-back -back Pac-12 Defensive Player of the Week awards. And having a sensational night here this evening. Getting the in-laws together for Christmas can be a teensy bit awkward. Just ask Romeo and Juliet. But after saving big with Amazon Black Friday, tragedy was avoided. Defensively for Stanford, and it's showing up on the stat sheet today. 28 digs, a new career high for Elena Oglavi. And we're still looking at quite a bit of time left here in the fourth set. It's 18 serving 10, so she may have a chance to add to that number and possibly even eclipse 30 in a match. Stanford has 10 more team digs tonight than Oregon State. Out of the timeout, it's the freshman Ruben serving, and it's an ace serve. A mishandled ball by Koba in the backcourt for Oregon State. And Ruben pushes Stanford just that much closer to a victory. Ruben will serve it. Molly Cope has to go way off the net, and that will also fall. For Stanford, a little bit of miscommunication there. I'm not really sure why Tikachenko may have just not stepped in to keep that ball up. If nothing else, you're back playing floor defense the other way, but instead it falls on the side of Stanford, and it's back-to-back -back aces recorded by Rubin going for three in a row. Tikachenko, heavy swing dug by Baird back over. Balico will go to the middle, and Swan puts it down. I've been really impressed by the play of Kinley Swan here this evening. Kinley Swan, the 6'2 middle blocker from Orem, Utah. He's had a very solid night here. 10 kills, 17 swings, 4 blocks, hitting 529. Been a big part of this Beaver offense. And will likely be a big part of this offense going forward for years to come. And just as we call her name, she picks up a stuffed block at the net, sending back Katie Baird. Tukachenko will get credit as well there. 
That was all Swan. Here is Shulshevsky's serve. She had that 9-0 run early in set number two. They got Oregon State back in it. And there is Baird finishing over Baliko. Off the hands of Vina Baliko, but she had no idea where that one was. It was right behind her, and it falls for a Stanford point. Cardinal making a substitution here as Bellardi and Pringle check on. Bellardi will serve. Three assists, two aces, and a dig tonight for Kelly. And a Pringle joints her on the backcourt in this rotation. Baliko left side to Tikachenko. Sent back by Miner, controlled by Baliko. Back one more time to Tikachenko. Doug deep by Ruben going out to the left side pin hitter and that is Katie Baird and that's kill number 24 for Baird so we've seen one career high broken this evening and Baird only two kills away from tying hers with potentially only three points left Baliko will set Swan on the slide and there's the block from Stanford. It's Katie Baird. She might not get the kills, but it doesn't matter. She's been dominant tonight, picking up her third block of the evening. And the reigning second team, ABCA All-American, putting her foot down here tonight against Oregon State. Tough serve. Stanford on a 3-0 run. Here's Tikachenko ripping into the cross court for the kill. So Stanford will make its substitution here. Ogilvy will check back onto the court. It's Vicini with Kip and Cami Miner, Katie Baird, Elia Rubin, and Elena Ogilvy. Oregon State has gone after Rubin in this rotation. Ogilvy steps in front. There's Baird on the left side, just hammering over the top of the Oregon State block, and that brings us to match point here in Naples, Stanford looking for the Pac-12 title. Looking for the outright Pac-12 title. Bollico will set Swan. Swan rips one down. And for now, Stanford will have to wait at least one more point to know its future in the Pac-12 tonight. They've already clinched at least a share of the title, looking to win it outright. It would be its 23rd overall conference championship should they win this point. Ruben, minor right side, Katie Baird finishes it off, and Stanford is victorious, winning its 23rd conference title. This one, an outright victory of the Pac-12. Stanford victorious in four sets, 25-23, 26-28, 25-11, and finally 25-14. A dominant victory here by Stanford after two very tight two sets to open at 25-23, 28-26 to Oregon State in the second. It was all Stanford in sets three and four with the Cardinal winning at 25-11 in the third and 25-14 in the fourth. Stanford led by Katie Baird, who did in fact tie her career high there with 26 kills. Elena Oglevy finished her night with a new career high at 28. Stanford moves to 23 and four on the season. The 16 game win streak is now up to 17 and the Cardinal are one win away from a potential top four seed in the NCAA tournament. A fun one here from Naples. Oregon State falls to seven and 22 overall, two and 17 in conference play. They fall to one and 11 away from Gill Coliseum. Overall, a Tough night for Oregon State. They played well early, but it was just too much Katie Baird at the end for the Beavers, and Baird finishing with 26 kills and 12 digs. Another double-double for her, and that'll be all that she wrote tonight from Stanford. Baird leading the way with 26 kills. Kendall Kip chipped in with 17, and a career-high night in digs for Elena Ogilvy as she sets her new career high with 28 digs. 
Cami Miner paced the offense as the Cardinal hit 320 overall as a team throughout tonight's match. Miner finished the game with 50 assists, 8 digs, and 2 service aces. As for the visiting Oregon State Beavers, they were led by Michael Vernon, who took 41 swings tonight, had 13 kills, 3 digs, and 3 blocks. Kinley Swan and Delara Udall were solid all night for Oregon State in the middle. And the Stanford team now given its Pac-12 trophies, hats, and shirts. Once again, the Cardinal have captured its 23rd conference title. An outright win. They had clinched at least a share of it coming into today's game. And after the victory here tonight, they have won the Pac-12 outright and may have just secured themselves as a top four seed going in to the tournament here come December. Players leave the court. We'll wrap things up here courtside. It's been a fun evening here for Maples Pavilion. Stanford moves to 23-4 and four overall on the season. Oregon State falls to 7-22. and 22. Stanford will have an opportunity to extend its win streak to 18 in a row this Friday against Cal. Once again, your final here from Maples Pavilion. Stanford, three sets to one, 25-23, 26-28, 25-11, and finally in the fourth set, 25-14. I'm Jimmy Garcia saying so long and good night. Hope everyone has a happy holidays and a great Thanksgiving tomorrow. With that being said, have a nice night, folks, and thanks for listening.